Welcome to this special edition of Coach's Corner. I'm Steve Levy. On October 23rd, all the teams from America East gathered in Albany where the America East Basketball Championships will be held later in March and the administrators and coaches all got together. Jerome Graham, our videographer, and Dan Levin taped these following interviews. Let's see them right now. Being pick six mean to you, is that you guys take that as a shot to you guys? Or? Well, we do. I mean, you know, last year, um, obviously, we took seriously being pick number one. So we're not going to lie to our team and say it doesn't matter this year. Uh, we're pick six. We think that's not even close to where we should be picked. It's probably our most talented team we've ever had, the deepest team we've ever had. Uh, so we're really excited about the season, and I'm sure our players will use that, uh, you know, uh, as, as fuel uh, when we go back and talk about that tomorrow. It was just a couple of years ago you guys won the tournament as, as a lower seed. Does that help at all? Yeah, I mean, you know, that was, you know, we won it as a seventh seed, obviously. Uh, you know, we were picked to win it a couple of years ago when we lost in the semifinals. Uh, last year we were picked to win it, we came in fourth in the regular season and we went to the finals. You never know what's going to happen and it's just how you want to use it with your team. But we're excited about who we return, obviously Lauren Chase um, is one of the better guards around, the returning rookie of the year. Um, Chris Coles was playing as good as anybody at the end of the season last year. Brittany Kroll is healthy off her uh, knee surgery off the ACL, and I think a lot of people maybe have forgotten about her. Uh, she's an incredible player. Bria White sat out last year and will have an immediate impact uh, on the conference. Becker had a good run last year. His first season, what do you expect them to do this year? Pick eight, is that, is that a little bit of more motivation? Uh, absolutely, yeah. you know, eighth place, anytime you pick that close to last, you know, you want to use that as motivation. I think we got a lot of good senior leadership, a lot of older experience returners. Yeah, I like mean, to uh, think I the I had, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'm excited, obviously, to see what the guys can come up with the floor. They've been working on some of that, so hard work pays off, we should be, we should be right. Chase Palmer named to the uh, preseason mock conference team, the second team mock conference last year. What do you expect from him as a leader but on and off the floor? Uh, that's exactly what I expect from him. You know, on and off the floor. He's, he's our guy. There's no secret about that. He's awesome. worked extremely hard on his game over the summer. He's in great shape. And he's, he's motivated. He's driven. He's a great kid. And we expect big things from Chase. Uh, UNBC specific, the, on the women's side, you lose three of the best players in school history in the Nebraska and Jeremy, What do you expect to see from them as a team? You know, it's going to be really interesting. Those three, those three student athletes were incredible, incredible students and athletes. Um, you know, uh, so they've got they've got some. I'm sure uh, Coach Stern has some things that he's working on, trying to find out who's going to fill that scoring gap. But they have a great point guard returning to Lauren Chase, and there's no doubt she'll be able to lead that team um, and build them stronger heading into March. On the men's side, were you surprised that the coaching changed so late or close to practice? You know, a, a little bit, but at the same time, I know you know Coach Monroe had to make decisions, and for him, making it before the season started was most appropriate. So I can't, I can't argue with that. Um, I think it's it's really helpful and positive for UNBC to name um, Aki as the acting head coach, someone who's familiar with the, with the guys, familiar with the team, someone that I know those 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 student athletes respect and trust, and I think that's going to be bring some new energy uh, to, the, to their team this year. For you, NBC, your 10th year anniversary in the conference, what's that mean to you? It means a lot to us. Um, uh, we've been, this is our fourth Division One conference. This is our 25th or 26th year in Division One, and this is the conference we've been in the longest. It's the conference that has the universities that are most like UNBC. They're all mid-sized public research universities. That's what President Rabowski wanted, that's what the administration wanted, and that's what we got. Uh, and so, other than Hartford, the other schools are all state universities, and, and somewhere between 10 and 20,000 students, uh, maybe the Stony Brook's a little bit bigger, uh, but it's good for us. They're all well-known academic schools nationwide. When you hear the name uh, Albany, you know where it is. When you hear the name Vermont, you know it's in Vermont. And so, uh, we've had problems with that in previous conferences, name recognition, so we're very happy with it. We've done well. In the conference, we've won a wide array of championships throughout the last 10 years, and, and our student athletes really get into it. <laughs>